Darren, a time trial, time trial bike, never a, a pleasant thing to ride for someone with a, a shoulder injury, I don't suppose, but um, how do you feel it went? Uh, I think I kind of rode the best TT I could really, I think I went out conservative, maybe a little too conservative, um, but yeah, that's just what I had really, I think uh, obviously it didn't feel 100%, but um, yeah, don't want to bang on about that, just yeah, I tried to do what I could and uh, it wasn't enough really. You said you went out conservatively, of course, remember the time trial you did in the Dauphiné where it was kind of the opposite, was that sort of, um, you were slightly spooked by that and wanted not to make the same mistake? Yeah, it definitely was in my mind and I knew that um, this course there was no real room to recover. There wasn't too many downhills really, so um, yeah, I tried to just start a conservative ride a bit more flat line. Um, I think it was decent enough sort of pacing really, just not enough power really. I think you lost 34 seconds to Roglic, is it a sort of day when you, you say to yourself it could have been a lot worse and we, we fight and go again? Yeah, it's, well, you know, I didn't know what to expect, really. Um, I woke up this morning and felt terrible, to be honest, but uh, once I got going um, and loosened up a bit, it was better. But, um, yeah, it's just one of those things. Just got to crack on and deal with it and um, just keep fighting, I guess. Five days in, what's your assessment of this GC battle and how much can still change in the race? Well, uh, it's certainly wide open, obviously. Pogaccia is in a, the strongest position, um, but as we've seen the first few, three or four days already, a lot can happen and change. Um, and yeah, I think it's it's open. Luckily, uh, hopefully, Billy does a good ride now. But uh, yeah, it's all to play for, I think.